welcome back to african buzz and if you have not subscribed please make sure to click that subscribe button and become a member of the buzz nation we are coming to you with the news from south africa france it's a mixture of everything it's not exciting news why is this so french media giant canal plus makes a mandatory offer to buy multi-choice that values the south african pay tv provider at 2.9 billion dollar right so that's 400 million dollar higher than the valuation multi-choice rejected in february canal plus is the biggest shareholder in multi-choice so what is wow, happening here what is happening we here we yeah didn't, we did not know that but uh, multi choice mm -hmm. is the one that supplies DSTV mm -hmm. and uh, Go TV, mm -hmm. and uh, you see it in south and east of Africa, right? I think West they also have. Yeah, Nigeria, mm -hmm. Ghana, those English speaking countries mm -hmm. are supplied by multi choice. Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have Canal Plus is owned by by France. Mm -hmm. I think multi choice must uh, multi choice is mostly owned by. South Africa. So, so Canal is in the Francophones coming to Congo, the French speaking nations. Mal's choice is the English speaking nations. Then we have uh, Shahid in the Maghreb areas and Watch IT in Egypt. So, Canal Plus Group acquisition of multi choice group, if successful, would give the French group a massive 90% share of the African pay TV market. So, is someone who say that if Africa is not careful, if politics is not right, we as Africans will be controlled by France through the satellite TV. Let me tell you something about multi-choice uh, in Southern Africa. Most of our shows that we watch are mainly produced and acted in South Africa. But the kind of narrative and the stories that they give out, as much as some have an African aspect in it, there's always that Western culture embedded in those shows. So they'll give you maybe a bit of some traditional African culture and then try to portray it into some modernized African, mm -hmm. not African culture. Uncultural. Yeah, modernized, very uncultural African culture, if that makes sense. So it's a way of trying to switch off your mind from the old to the new, towards the whatever they want to take the world um towards. Yeah. So when you see a lot of these shows and a lot of people subscribing, I swear if my mom doesn't have, if my mom didn't have money to subscribe to multi choice for that month, she would be so sick. It, it's, um, yeah. it's like it's, addiction. It's eh? Addiction because you have shows that are coming each and every day that you need to follow. So you need to make sure that you have subscribed. You need to make sure that you are on board with everything that is happening. Yeah. And if this French thing now comes in and takes over, and now they'll bring their own culture because we are now moving from the Western or whatever culture, um, the, the, the American culture mostly, now to the French culture, which also comes with a lot of very uncultured activities that will happen. It means now from that, because the people have still gotten that switch to from African culture to Western, which is mostly American this time, now to French, it's going to be a mixture of abomination in African Households. And, uh, you know, Mal's Choice mm -hmm. is just like uh, uh, we can get a channel or or a group or where you can just fix your channel. So even local channels are fixed in, mm -hmm. into DSTV, mm -hmm. are fixed into GoTV, are fixed into even Canal Plus. Eh? So the problem is not even what they want, they show. Because even local mm -hmm. stations will show things, good things. Eh? Mm -hmm. But the problem is for example, when you want to talk something which is waking up people, they don't want that. For example, when the Russia UKR war started, there was a Russia channel mm. in Malchus and it was banned completely, mm. never to be shown. So if you're not giving into the you know propaganda, the uh, narrative, switching. you are banned from it. And that is the problem. So if you, all the channels in the Canal Plus or multi choice will have to, you know, rhyme with their narrative, we'll never know the truth. And that's why we say, like, it's better even the mainstream media dies because these guys are just mainstream. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's better if they died and we are left with YouTube like we are doing. 
or X, you know, those media which are able to tell you what is happening. But imagine what we have seen with the relationships with France and Africa. All those countries that were colonized by France are in turmoil. Imagine now they will be the one to provide us with satellite TV. Then we have our own, you know, satellite TV. Cha- Produce our own chat and programs, yeah. you know. Yeah, because of course we produce, but they are fixed in these guys. But can we have our own which are more independent? You know, when you produce and it's fixed into them, they have to go through and make sure that the content is subscribing to whatever yeah. they want the people to see. So if you have your own medium of showing these TV programs, you're better off because nobody one will censor you, nobody will control the kind of content that you create. As it is right now, we are very beautiful. Um, producers, scriptwriters in Africa, yeah. filmmakers who cannot independent, independently do their work just because they rely on massive choice, uh, DSTV and net, whatever, to view Netflix, to, view, to, to, to air their shows. So Africa, if you are in the diaspora, Africans who are in the diaspora, who have the power? We have this biggest giant, yeah. um, Taylor Perry. You have oh. our Taylor Perry. If Taylor Perry could come and create a studio in Africa just for Africans to create their shows and give us a platform to air our shows. This could be the yeah. best because... Big, big people like... Him. Yeah, we need Taylor Perry. So yeah. or, or we need to come together, mm-hmm. you know. As like if, if Ibrahim mm-hmm. Torre is able to buy weapons, mm-hmm. two of weapons at the same time, and one is costing $6 million. Yeah, yeah. And he's able to Don't finance. Don't you think America. if we come together, we can? And those are the people and contributing. And he's saying that yes, Burkina Bays are the ones who are contributing. Yeah. So we have seen. I think we have seen social media. People have been contributing in billions yeah. through TikToks, through Twitter, and you're like, where do people get out of this money? Yeah. It's there. It's, it's possible. just that yeah, it's just that people do not have a platform to, to come together. Yeah, come together, yeah. contribute for a good cause. Yeah, and I think that is where African buzz comes with uh, by Africans for Africa. Foundation. Foundation. Yeah. So bring people together so that they can invest together. So if in the diaspora you want to invest in Africa, create a group, uh-huh. come, holler to us, yeah. we list you, we link you. Possible. Yeah, but we will not allow France to control 90% of our narrative through mainstream media. We should not do that. Okay. Yeah. So guys, let us know what you think in the comment section. We are very grateful to see you here. Subscribe if this is your first time. We will see you in our next video. If you want to support us, the links are in the description box down below. Please make sure to click any of the two and you'll be able to support us. And we'll PayPal or buy us a coffee. Bye-bye. <laughs>